He goes on to say, I'm used to when I walk through a parking lot, people lock the doors. Yeah, when I get in my car and then I turn it on and I'm in a parking lot, I lock the door. And, you know, I'm a man and, and I've been walking through parking lots and seen women kind of look at you and got their purse because people are living in fear. I'm a white guy. And, and I'm sure there are some people out there that stereotype and think black guys about to rape, you know, rape them or do something. My whole issue is if I see guys with wife beaters with like devil tats and they're bugging their eyes out at me and, you know, uh, they're white, they're Hispanic, they're black, whatever, I start kind of paying attention to them. But absolutely. You know, if I'm in, in, a, in a, you know, especially in a poor area and I see guys walking like they're thugs down the street, I don't care what color they are. I go, that guy looks like they're a thug and looks like they're tough. Okay. If they try to shake me down, I'm just going to say, I'm going to ignore them and keep walking. And if they come up to me and try to put a hand on me, I'm going to punch them right in the throat. Because I don't want to jump on top of them and hurt my knees and stuff when I slam their head in the ground. Plus, I don't want to kill them. Then I have to go to jail and stuff, and then they have to find that I didn't, you know, that it was done in self-defense. Been down that road. So I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to punch this guy in the throat. I'm thinking, how hard am I going to punch him? And, 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 and I'm not thinking he's a black guy. I'm thinking the guy's walking like a thug, thinks they're tough, and I'm thinking about how I'm going to defend myself. Just like when I've been at the coast a few years ago and walk out of a restaurant uh, in South Padre, and they're having a biker rally. And it wasn't like a nice biker rally. Most rallies are nice people. It was like thug wannabes rode up with a motorcycle and were revenant looking at me. And I was thinking, okay, all right, that guy's taking his helmet off. I'm going to punch him in the throat the minute he tries to get up and do something. And then I'm going to assault those next three guys. Then they'll probably pull a weapon. I need to take that. I mean, that's, that's I mean, like, zzz, that's what I'm thinking whenever something like that's going on. I can't help it. I'm thinking, all right, I'm, I'm ready to kill. I mean, I mean, that's just how I am. And, I, and I'm thinking, all right, all right, okay, instantly assess these guys. These are probably ex-con, real criminals. I've got my three kids here. Uh, that gives me, you know, just turbo dinosaur power. And I'm thinking, control yourself. Don't have a fight unless you've absolutely got to. You know, the man in me is ready to take them all on. And gosh, you're, you know what I'm talking about out there, don't you? You scum. I hate gang members and filth. And it has nothing to do with black people. But I will stomp your head in if you start a fight with me, you thug scum. Anyways, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen.